I got to get to this McDonald's gate. Uh, Mcdonald's gate is really bad, Stu. Now, I, I, now, well, what no, do you no, mean? No, 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 it was no, a nice no, moment. No. Here's the here's a guy who a billionaire who goes through no, the please. McDonald's hiring process. Do not spread any more mis or disinformation. Okay. Here's the audio of Trump managing the drive-through at a McDonald's. Okay. Well, that's a good-looking group. Hello, everybody. This is not a normal situation, is it, huh? How are you? What a good-looking family. How did you produce those good-looking kids? Oh, they look like the wife. They look like the wife. How are you? Nice to see you. That's great. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there'll be no charge. Trump is paying for it. Is that okay? Oh, you're doing some extra stuff. Oh, okay, great. This is, this is all on Trump. Oh, all on Trump. I'm allowed to do that, right? Yeah. Huh? Let's check and make sure it's That's everything right. you said it would it be. It better be. It's going to be the best you ever. I made it myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, as cute as that is, uh-huh. here he is, quote, working, end quote, the friolator. Okay. You got to hit that timer. Bring that one up. I'm going to take care of these. He's okay. training. Okay, he's... Doing making fries. Making fries. Okay. Now, I found out after I was bamboozled mm-hmm. by this video. Yeah. I found out today from the press that he didn't actually work at McDonald's. What do you mean? I just I just saw it on no, video. No, no. This is was that, quote, is that a deep fake? This was a publicity stunt. Wait, what do you mean a publicity stunt? Yeah, I s- no, no. They the the people in line they were all hand selected. So what do you they mean? weren't just strangers driving up to the drive through. No, no. They How? checked to make sure that they were the right people, and you know what I mean by right people. No, what, what people you- without guns. Oh my God! Yeah. So they screen. Right. They screen them. Has that ever happened to you at a McDonald's drive-through? No, uh, no uh, Glenn, of course not. I have to tell you this. Of course not. I worked at McDonald's. It was my first I job. I know. I know. At no point did they screen customers to come up. Yeah, I know. And make sure they were people I that knew, I, I I liked or supported me I in knew any you way. Were gonna be These angry. were just random people yeah, who right. walked into the McDonald's right. and came up and put in the order of and food I that they wanted you, at that time. I bet you had to go through an application I, yes. situation. I had to do an interview. Maybe an interview. They didn't you didn't just walk in and say, I'm here to work uh at a McDonald's and then they hand you the apron. Not didn't happen at all. that way. No. That's the way it happened with him. So he didn't take the no. test beforehand. He didn't take the test, the McDonald's yeah, they, test. Well, they have a little like, hey, rev- a review thing, if I remember oh, right, really? from back in the day. Like right, you know, okay. they give you kind of a walkthrough. And- so it's kind of like a, a test, kind of like, are you crazy? Are you going to shoot us? Are you? The one? <laughs> no, that was no, not it's actually not actually required okay. at all. They didn't all right. care about that. They just want to make sure I can make the fries. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, no, no test. No test. This is a disgrace. It's a disgrace. After all I went through to get that uh-huh. job, this guy just walks in there. Yeah. And yeah. by the way, you got to get up in the in the organization to be working the drive through. It's not like the first thing you're doing. No. You know, this no. guy just skips. Skips all to, of it. Skips all of it. This he is was unbelievable. Pra- he was like practically the president of McDonald's. How did they uncover this? <laughs> I don't because know. Because there is video. Good journalism. Good journalism. I guess so. Because yeah. I. It, it, and they're not saying the video is AI, right? No, not no, that's that. real video. They're okay. just saying the whole thing, the whole thing was, was a fake. What a fake. scam. Yeah. I'm voting for Kamala Harris. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's the only honest person who seemingly worked at McDonald's but has well, no evidence of it whatsoever. No. Yeah, we don't think she worked at McDonald's. <laughs> we don't but that's so. okay. That's she okay. just oh, doesn't have any. Totally okay. Yeah, yeah she just doesn't have. Uh, by the way, here is the crowd uh, in front of the McDonald's. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I mean, thousands of people out there. Thousands and thousands of people. I, I, I've never seen an election like this. I mean, oh, it is. Feasterville, huh? It is crazy. Is that not just nuts? It's Look at it goes on and on and on and on. It really is an impressive crowd. I mean, look, Donald Trump has no problem getting crowds to come see him. The yeah, people to love stand him. across the street from the McDonald's. I, I wish mean, I was d- dedicated enough for anybody to do that. I don't. I mean, I don't. 
I can't think of anything. Maybe if they were releasing a new McFlurry, I might do something like that. By but, the way, let me just because I want to be fair and balanced. Let me just can I just let me just put in yeah. this message. Cut five, please. This message from Kamala Harris. Okay. And when we all sing happy tunes and sing Merry Christmas and wish each other Merry Christmas, yeah. these children are not going to have a Merry Christmas. Oh, no. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? <gasps> How oh. dare we? Wow, that connects with me. <laughs> you know, I, that really pushes me right? toward her campaign. Yeah. You know, I yeah. just, I'm like, wow, I, I also despise all of our traditions and things that make me feel good <laughs> I, about our country. Thank goodness yeah. somebody has finally said it. Gosh, I feel so in line with oh, Kamala. Now, gosh. that video is a little bit old, but I don't know why she's not bringing it back up. I know. It's just such a, uh, it's, it's it's a powerful message. It connects. Uh, uh, Chris, con- your Christmas memories are disgusting. <laughs> Here, that, she's cut. revolted by your holiday. <laughs> How dare yeah, you? Yeah, that's great. Uh, here's cut 12. Should never again have the privilege of standing behind the seal of the President of the United oh States. God. Wow, this that is, is... Never again. This is the typical never Democrat again. mistake. Yeah. This, never again. Hasn't learned word one from Hillary. No, not, not one. Not, no this one. is what they, cause you get more desperate. It gets mm-hmm. everyone mm-hmm. behind you going, like, you're not being assertive enough. Mm-hmm. And they're telling her this all the time. And now she's out there screaming with that voice. Do you have the, do you have the one where she's saying it? Like, cause this is not, this, this was spontaneous. Oh, it was? Yeah, it was spontaneous. Okay. Okay. You just had the, you just had the one up with uh, like 12 boxes. To the control room? Yeah, play this. Wait, it seems like she's just saying the same thing in venue after venue after yeah, venue after but venue. but she brings that anger with her each time. Yeah, the, the, yeah. It seems like she pronounced all the things, you know, that she emphasized the things the yeah, same way. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. strange. He should never stand... Behind the seal of the president of the United States. Never again. Never again. Uh, such oh. a dumb, dumb season, right? Like, I, it's like, I can't believe they're doing well, this. Well, we were the dummies. We fell for Donald Trump oh, yeah. actually That's working. What I meant. That's what I meant, of course. Yeah. Was that, you I mean, know, you know, know how such could a we? dumb season. How could we be that but stupid? Are, are you a little surprised? Because I think Democrats really looked at the Hillary Clinton thing as something they should have won, right? Like they should, they believe 2016, they should have won that election. Oh, they did no, and blew it. They did no introspection. There was no, there was no thought after like, how did we lose this? Well, I see, I thought, I thought there was, and I thought that's why they started with joy, right? I mean, I know it was BS. No, but- I think they started with joy because that's what actually was said about the Republican party. Everybody was saying that. Don't you remember? What? They were saying they it don't. was so joyful. It was like happy. Oh, at the at the at the uh, Republican convention. Mm-hmm. convention. So they just copied them. And so they were like, we can't let them have joy. See, I thought it was more related. And you might be right. I, I thought it was more related to the sort of approach that Biden brought to the table and and Hillary as well, which was this constant top five, five alarm fire sort of, oh my gosh, get on the edge of your seat. Democracy's crumbling, blah, blah, blah. And they stayed away from that messaging for the first month or two of her campaign. Yep. Because which is interesting. They they were, here's the other thing. And Donald Trump has captured it. I mean, this, this is a huge change. Donald Trump has captured the magic, the, uh, the joy uh, the fun, you know, while she's like, I don't know, yeah, while she's doing that, he's having fun. Yeah, I feel like they tried the joy thing, got a little burst, it faded, and now they're realizing it's empty calories. Yeah, and now they're like, well, what do we do? And their only other page in the playbook is scream about the loss of democracy. Yep. And I just don't think that connects with the American people. I really don't. I just feel like people are like, all right, we got it. You know, I, we, the, they might have really disliked everything that happened around the election. They may have really disliked J- January 6th and all those things. But, like, come up with an argument. Come up with an argument that's not just, you know, you repeating the same things you've been saying every day since 2015. Yeah. 
right? Like, it's not even since 2020. No, no. It, it goes back to his initial thing. They were stealing elections. Russia was helping him steal elections. Yeah. Democracy's going to die because Vladimir Putin's going to come in and fix the voting machines. I mean, it's been constant. Mm -hmm. People are just bored of it. Mm -hmm. Bored. Mm -hmm. And they don't believe it. Well, they don't believe it this time because she's so credible. Like yesterday when she went to church. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. did you see? She does this every Sunday. Here's a cut oh. four. She just... Does uh, she? Yeah, she walks in to, you know, just walking into a church, you know, and just kind of... I'm just there to seek Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I shouldn't have brought that up. You know, because it makes me think of saying Merry Christmas, for one. Uh, Which is revolting. Thank Cele you. Celebrating the birth of Jesus is a disgusting thing, but let me go to church real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fake yeah well so fake